Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sound Let's go Today we're here to do a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Ravana because I haven't played a assassin in a while. It's actually been a long time since I played an assassin, I think. Um, so we're playing some Ravana. I'm fighting a Freya, which just sounds like the most unfun experience of my existence. But, but maybe if i get an early kill no granted it's not very easy against a freya but if i get an early kill i should be able to win i got warrior's axe because i assume i need the help staying in the battle as Ravana. i would assume that i need Maybe one or two extra little ticks of healing to keep me in the fight against a Freya. Hopefully I'm wrong, because that would mean that I'm just winning the fight straight up. Uh, if I'm not wrong, then God help me. <laughs> Alright, let's do red buff. He moves like a bot next to his minion wave. Weird. Okay. Well, the Warrior's Axe came in handy there for a second. Ouch. It did do how much damage to him? 29, which means it healed me for 29. Which means, oh, we take those. You're doing my red. And by red, I mean blue. All right. Blue confirmed. I'm winning this fight. Red buff. Also confirmed, giving me the damage to win the fight. Which means I'm now ahead of the Freya. Which means... Success, baby. Success, baby. Alright. I don't think I'm scared of you. Yeah, no, I do way too much damage to be scared of you. Holy shit. I ulted 200. I don't know how much my one did, but it did a lot. I'm doing a lot of damage. Please. Go. All right, you can have that one. Fine. Backing. Jotun's is 1550, so I'll go ahead and buy that right out the gate. Get a solid amount of cooldown. And actually, I'll buy a mana pot because I feel like mana is kind of my issue right now. The healing for my three... Excuse me. The healing for my three and the tick healing for my warrior's axe. Actually doing enough, I think. Actually doing enough. Or maybe I was just cocky because I somehow got an advantage. Oh, nice two. How long until red spawns? Probably like another minute. I couldn't bear for them to sneak by. I guess I'll just go over here and do this. I am going to use my three because healing it only heals me for six. Did I read that right? It should heal me for ten, but it healed me for six. I guess because of protections. Holy shit. You see the amount of damage I just did? What in the good goddamn? My one nearly killed that guy. Hit him for 230. Uh, I gotta run this way now. Dang it. I could corner him. But at 400 HP, that's a little bit... That's a little bit too risky for my blood. I'm not even that... Well, I guess I am pretty far ahead. He's going to have a finished item now, and I'm a scared baby boy. Holy shit. I actually almost killed him there. Warrior's Axe doing a whole lot. My one doing an equal amount of a whole lot. My ult hit him for 300. My two hit him for 100. 
Oh my gosh. I am pumping some absolute numbies, my guy. Pumping absolute numbies. Wait a second. I just realized the tier two bug on the items is from the items that have that have their tier fours in season nine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video up of the season nine patch that you should watch. Um but Yo Inns and Breastplate of Valor and Heart Ward and Deathbringer, all of those items are bugged right now. When you buy them, it says it's a tier two item, even though it's completely finished. But it's because the programming for season nine is already in the game. And there's tier four items. So it reads the tier three as a tier two because they're not upgrading the glyph. I understand. I've broken the code. Okay. I know so many people get aggravated when I finish an item and it's a tier two item. So, you know, now I know which items to avoid. I'm not going to avoid them, but I know which ones to avoid. Boom, bah, bah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My damage is so high. Hey, okay, he surrendered. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You probably should. I'm just like, I'm doing so much damage. So much damage. You guys in game two. Okay, boys. Welcome back. Game number two of the two game video. <laughs> well, maybe. It could be a three game video depending on this. If this one's a five minute game two. We'll see. I don't know. Playing Kali though. Figured I'd make this a little assassin, assassin showcase. And yesterday I was playing Kali on stream. Oh, that is not, that is not good. <laughs> that is very bad. That is unironically one of the worst matchups in the game. Shit. But anyways, um, yesterday I was playing Holly on stream and somebody said that they don't remember the last time they seen someone play Kali. It's been so long for them. And you know what? I think you're, you're right. Been a long time since I've seen anyone play Kali. I don't know why. She's she's pretty damn good. But uh This will help us all. But yeah, yeah, you don't see her played much. Ever, really. I guess my reasoning behind her not being played much is because she loses a lot of matchups. And a lot of the the Meta gods right now are actually matchups she loses. Like to Kronos, she loses. To Bologna, she loses. To Osiris, she loses. Like there's a lot of matchups she loses to gods that are very good right now. So I guess you don't see her very much. But if they don't play those gods, then you win by default, which is sick. All right. Well, that was good. I mean, he's obviously gonna outclear me, so. Get ready to jump away, but I don't, know, I don't need to jump. Not doing that much to me. I am getting absolutely shit on by minions, though. Ouch. <clears throat> Alright. Let's just do my blue buff. And calm down. Okay. Do the blue buff. Calm down. He's starting... Mannequin's Berserker Shield, which is expected. Honestly, it's the best start you can do with Bologna. Especially when you're against a physical god. Again, especially an assassin. Uh, but, are there any magical assassins? Ao Kong is just a mage. Wait, are the only characters in the game that do magical damage mages and guardians there's no magical damage warrior or assassin that's wild why can't why do, do they all do they just classify them as a mage even though they're like expected to be in a different role than mid like i feel like Ao Kuang should be an assassin but I think he's a mage. That's why there's so many mages in the game. 
because mages have different actual roles. Like Hades. You don't go Hades mid. You go Hades solo. Alright, get away from me, you fucking weirdo. I'm pressing all your buttons at my head and it hurts. Ouch. Um, dude, they need to reclass some mages. By the way, I'm going Boomba's hammer and, uh, ouch. Oh my God. Why are you so angry? The ult me and walked at me. Just massive W keys, dude. Okay, and I did not ult fast enough. I held my ult too long. That was a mistake. I didn't think he had enough mana for another ability because he just stood, he just stood there while I was fighting him. He's also maxing his three. I'm pretty sure, which you should do. It's actually the meta as Bologna. Max your three. You don't need extra help clearing when your auto attacks are already. AOE. So you don't need the max your two. And maxing your one does like quite literally nothing. So maxing your three increases your heal that you get. And how long that they are uh is silence? I don't know if it's still called a silence when they stop your auto attacks. Disarmed? Is it a disarm? I think it's a disarm. He has a finished berserker shield. Which basically means that I am not in the game right now. He's W keying again. This guy was bred just to annoy me, I think. His parents were laying in bed. Thinking of ways to annoy me in the future. And they thought, I got it. Let's have a, let's have a child. And teach that child to play Bologna and W key only. That'll piss him off. A fair they were right. His parents knew me, I guess. You're doing my blue instead of your red? What's the point? What's the point? Arm's going. I mean, that was great damage, honestly. Not be upset about that. Okay. All right, that was just not the play. Not the play you want to make. Too much W key on that one, actually. He was two levels ahead of me, by the way. During that fight. He actually had two levels, a two level advantage on me. And after that kill, I evened it out. Good. Keep my eye waiting for my cooldowns up. Um, you have no abilities up, and I'm pretty sure you don't win this fight. Okay, I was right. Backed out. Let's also go back. Uh, actually, do you hear me or not? Ah, oh, fuck! I missed my two does scare me. If I didn't miss my two, he wouldn't scare me, but I did, so rip. Oh, you're dead. Let's go. Let's actually go. He's getting a little bit too cocky. I mean, he definitely wins the matchup, so it's kind of fair that he gets a little cocky, but... You can't get cocky after you die. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go probably stone cutting. I think it's going to be the best thing for me here. It's 50 flat power, which is huge. And then um, also gives me a little bit of pen, but mainly the power and movement speed is what I want. The 50 flat power is going to be really good for my auto attacks that hurt. Oh god, ouch.
So, if you're wondering what my game plan is to counter... Oh my god, we just got his ult for free. Back to nerd. If you're wondering what my game plan is to counter Bologna, which is a counter matchup to me, it's to basically auto-attack as little as possible. My goal is to build Hydras. Why did he just beads my jump? I fucking missed. This is a weird game, dude. My goal is to build Hydras. Oh, you are so dead. I alt auto canceled. Used my alt to auto cancel there. Got my kill. But to finish my thought that I've been starting for the past minute and a half. My goal is to auto attack as little as possible. Build Hydras so that each ability that I use makes my next auto attack do a about, I think, 30% more damage. And um, I kill him in about three auto attacks. Just build a shit ton of power and Hydras and kill him in three autos. Because once he uses his one, I'm not going to get more autos. That's just how it works. I really want that red. Why are you the way you are? Uh, you have ult, don't you? Oh, my ult, my, or my, uh, not my ult, my jump didn't go off. I mean, it made the noise that it went off and I was in the air, but this thingamabob still hit me. And now we go Hydras. Um, I could almost afford it. I think I probably want Blink. Thunder would be really good too, though, for this uh, for this strat that I'm pulling. <coughs> Thunder would be really good for this. Um, but Blink is just too good. Like I just can't not go Blink. Oh, he got a full stone cutting himself. He's obviously going to do blue. I'm not an idiot, and I don't want to be caught out when he's there. So, oh. Thanks for the blue buff. That's enough. Not the most incredible amount of damage, but that's okay. He's going itch of all. I'm going to finish my Hydras here. And uh, just got to be ready to to fight. Because he is going to want to fight me. Now I could get a ton of damage off with my Hydras finished now. It's just about timing. Just about timing. That is perfect. I'm dead. Never mind, he missed. I have blink. Nice. You're dead the one? Or the two, I mean? Nice. Huge kill, huge kill. He actually crapped on me. Even though... I got my combo off on him. That was so much damage. He's going to have Ichival now, too. I don't really want to get Ichival. Because I'm never going to be able to use it effectively, I think. But I will go into Serrated Edge. Serrated Edge gives me some decent amount of power. 35 power. But mainly, it gives me 20% pen. And uh, extra power when my abilities are down. Which is important because, like I said, I'm going to be trying to abuse Hydras and get big auto attacks. Not a lot of auto attacks, just big auto attacks. Okay. Ouch. Finishes Hydras, or not his Hydras, he finishes Ichival. Wants to kill me now. Oh my... That scared the shit out of me. I thought I was dead. I genuinely thought I was dead. His alt, 
I thought killed me 100%. I'm really lucky. Man, my auto attacks do a lot of damage, though. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. Literally the goal of the entire build. Don't auto often, just auto hard. Alright, red buff down. Let's go back. We'll get serrated edge. It's going to give us that 20% pen. And then I actually, believe it or not, and this might be dumb, think that we should go Wind Demon or Deathbringer. Because if I get a Hydra's crit auto attack, that's going to do a lot. That's probably going to win me the fight straight up. So I think I will go crit. And I have pen too, so... Not one of those scenarios where you build crit and you have no pen or power to back it up. I actually got the build to back it up right now. I have everything up right now. If I get the drop on him, I can kill him. Oh my god, you see the, both those autos? I outed him twice for 800 damage, and I didn't even crit him. That's the power of Hydra's plus Transcendence plus Serrated Edge. Like, I'm just doing so much damage. 800, 800 damage in two auto attacks is crazy. Like, I just hit the Bull Demon for 608 without a crit. This is the way you have to play against Bologna. It sucks if if you're the Bologna player because it it hurts. Okay. Like there is just no way you fight me. There's no shot. I hit him five times. I did five auto attacks for eighteen hundred damage. But you are just not in any position to stop me. I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, I can get Boombas. Boombas is a part of this build, by the way. Because you're autoing after every ability. And uh, those are really the only autos that count. So you get the Boombas hammer procs on each of those autos. And you can use abilities even more. You're just overall happier. Um, I think I will be going Wind Demon here. It's only a 20% crit chance, but uh, if I do crit, that crit is also going to have an extra 10% pen behind it. Which, again, it's all about hitting hard. I like this build. I really do. It's, it's bad because it's so easily countered. If he just... If he's fast with his one, then I just can't hit him straight up. Because, he I mean, he has Itchaval... Uh, I assume he's going to build Frostbound at some point. He's going to slow my attack speed to, to complete garbage. And he can do that from the very beginning. To a fight. To where I could literally never get an auto off. However, if he doesn't, and he hasn't been doing it. Okay, you see, look at that. Like, I jumped on him, and I punched him one time. One time for 700 damage. Shout out to crit. How do you counter that? Well, I mean, I just told you how to counter. You use your one and you start fight. You start fighting and you don't let me initiate. That's how you counter it. But he hasn't been doing that. And he's probably in a position in his head where he's just like, I don't know what the fuck to do. This guy hits me once and I die. So, and I, I mean, it's on like, like, look, like, like, look, though, like, look, though. Four auto attacks. 2,700 damage. Oh my gosh. That build is so strong. Holy crap. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comments. And, um... Until next time, guys. Peace.